Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with Matt Dagenhart. Good Wednesday afternoon. We're now over halfway through the work week and we had our warmest day of the week today. We continue to warm up, mostly staying dry so far up to the mid 70s as we have watched this storm system uh, make a temporary home uh, centered off of the coast of Central California. It looks to stay there for a little while and it is going to spin some more precipitation up to our area uh, starting possibly as soon as this evening. Now we're already seeing some cloud cover rolling. You can see it moving west there as it pulls counterclockwise into that low pressure system. Also some uh, scattered precipitation. That's what we could see and it might even bring us some thunderstorms as well. You can see here on our future rainfall model that tonight it looks pretty light if at all but tomorrow it'll be a blanketing across the high desert. That will uh, linger with us throughout the weekend as well as a chance of more rain but it does uh, decrease to about 20 to 30 percent after Thursday. Winds have picked up today. They're uh, coming from multiple different directions, but staying pretty blustery between 5 and 15. Most of us closer to that 15 mile per hour range. Those do look to subside as the night goes on. Now, pollen has uh, improved a little bit from yesterday. Yesterday, uh, tree pollen was severe. It's become a little bit more moderate today, but already I'm hearing from people that they're getting headaches due to the allergies um, already that we're seeing from the tree and grass pollen. Ragweeds aren't even in play yet either. Now tonight's lows, they're going to stay pretty mild um, as we do begin a cooling trend tomorrow. We'll see everything from the upper 30s to possibly even the low 50s and the chilliest parts of the evening tonight. And tomorrow to begin our cooling trend, we'll drop pretty significantly about 10 degrees on average in the warmest parts of our day. We'll basically be scattered throughout the 60s under partly cloudy skies with that continued chance of scattered rain showers and thunderstorms are possible as well. They're likely for the Cascades. That tr cooling trend continues into Friday, our coolest day of the week. It'll drop us all the way down to the low 50s. Luckily, we will rebound a little bit heading into the weekend. We do look to stay dry on Saturday as our temperatures rebound up to the upper 50s to low 60s. And that's where our temperatures will stay throughout the weekend and to start next week before a warming trend uh, starts us in the middle of next week. Now let's see how the resorts did over the last 24 hours with a look at our snow report.